Well, hello, wonderful person. As one of my favorite YouTubers says, Ty Whittingham here, and I am back. It's been a couple days since I've made a video, and that's for good reason. Let me show you here. This here is the island of Maui in Hawaii, United States, of course. And for those of you who have never been here, I strongly, strongly recommend it. Uh, I know you can't see me very well right now because the background is brighter than myself, and I'm okay with that. Uh, we're going to get into a screen share here momentarily. I have been watching uh, quite a few YouTube videos on my journey here. Let's actually start the screen share now. And I want to talk about one of them today that has provided me with inspiration. Uh, well, I don't know why that happened. But before I do, I want to thank all of you, all 67 of you who have subscribed to my channel within the first week of it being live. Uh, hopefully you have learned a few things and these videos that I've made have been helpful thus far. So the video that I uh, watched that gave me the inspiration was called Facts About Spiders. Secret Nature Spider Documentary Natural History Channel. And I'm, yes, I will post the link to this video uh, in the description of this video for those of you who care to watch it. And the very specific thing about this video that caught my attention about spiders and how I'm going to relate this to Google Ads is the webs that spiders build. Um, let me see if I can jump forward a little bit to where it talks about the webs. Um, but a, what a spider does, if just in some weird happenstance that you have never encountered a spider or their web, uh, a spider is a creature, they're, they're hunters, and the way that they hunt is they spin these webs, and their webs entrap uh, unsuspecting victims as they are just going about their day. Different spiders spin different webs and I can't actually, that's, I don't know where the best part of this video is, but you can watch it all on your own and, and uh, see exactly what I'm talking about. But every spider has a, a web that's slightly different, but the thing that they all have in common is that they, the purpose that they serve is entrapping their victim and enabling the spider to be able to do what it needs to do to live, which is eat. Um, Google ads is very much the same way, especially when we're talking about search advertising. Search advertising uh, requires the user to manually input something into uh, google.com type something in or I guess they could do a voice search nowadays um, but they have to actually tell Google that they have a question and then you have the opportunity to show your ad um, once that person asks the question and if you are the best answer then you are the most likely to get a click um, so the ad itself is not what the it's it is not my comparison to the web the landing page and this video is about landing pages the landing page is how i am going to uh make a, a relation here to the spider's web when somebody clicks on an ad the first page that they are sent to is what is called the landing page, the page that they land on. And when they uh, land on that page, they are going to do one of two things. They are either going to um, do what you want them to do, which is uh, convert and, and become a customer in some type of way, or they are going to hit the back button or close the page and then leave without you being able to have an opportunity to turn that person into your customer. Um, so I have pulled up a uh, series of landing pages here, probably like seven of them. And I just want to talk about some basic principles of landing pages and 
what you can do to make sure that you have better ones because of of all the the phone calls that I get and all the people that that schedule calls with me and want me to review their account the the landing page that itself is probably the the number one most ignored aspect of Google ads and it is uh probably the most critical because you can have the best ad in the world, the best account, the best strategy, um, even the cheapest clicks. But if you can't turn somebody into a customer, uh, if they look at your landing page and they say, Oh no, that's bogus. I don't want any part of that. Then you're, you're pretty much, um, just like a spider with a bad web. You're going to get people, creatures coming into your web and then they'll just be escaping and you'll be wasting your time and then you're going to starve. Um, so I had like the silliest thing happen to me. Somebody said, I don't even need a landing page. Well, if you don't need a landing page, you, you might not, if you're just getting people to call you, but I, I can tell you that's like, um, probably not the best way to go. Uh, so with that being said, I, I have a theme here. I Googled a handful of Hawaiian based uh, searches on Google and then I went clicked on their landing page clicked on their ad and uh, am, am Now here on their landing page So every good landing page has a couple things in common. The first thing that they have in common is a headline of some sort uh, So let's see if we can go through these we can see that we have a headline there uh, This is a Hawaiian car rental. We have a, a headline there we have a Hawaii tour website. This is kind of like a headline. I don't actually like that landing page very much. Surfboard rentals, we have headline there. Uh, this is a Maui attorney, uh, Maui defense attorney, got a headline there. This uh, was an anti-aging ad that I got served while I was here. Why do some women age faster than others? Uh, this is a vacation rental company. Here's how John earned $58,000 in nine months. This is Babbel. Apparently they thought that I wanted to start speaking a new language, but they have a headline there. Uh, this is just a general attorney head, uh, website. So they have their headline. And then this is progressive. They served me an ad as well. So they have their headline, your one-stop insurance shop. So that, that is the, the first thing. The second thing is all of them have an image of some sort or a video. This one has a video. Uh, so an image or a video. Have a handful of images on this one. Image there, image there, image there, image there, image there. Okay, then the uh, Third thing that is most important is the text. So you will have a body of text in some way, shape, or form that will explain your service and uh, give people an opportunity to learn a little bit more about you and ensure that you are, in fact, what they are looking for before they uh, are motivated enough to actually reach out to you and then do the, the, the fourth thing that is the fourth most, most critical aspect uh, in no particular order. These are all equally as important. Um, but every single one of these has a, a body of text and that will lead into the, the fourth item that each of these, well, the, this one doesn't actually have it because all they want you to do is uh, go into their funnel and, and type in your zip code and type a car and they're going to give you a quote. Um, but yeah, every, every other one of these has a, a body of text. So headline, image, body of text, and the fourth thing is the call to action. So if you don't tell somebody what you want them to do on your landing page, then I can almost guarantee that, well, so I won't guarantee that they won't do it, but their probability of doing what you want them to do will decrease significantly. Um, so we have a call to action there. We have a call to action down here. Click here to begin. 
see if you qualify. That's what this company wants you to do. There's going to be a uh, handful of calls to action uh, spread throughout this landing page. This is uh, actually what's called an advertorial style landing page, uh, which is an article, uh, editorial slash advertisement. It'll tell you a story, help you become emotionally involved in whatever the product is and, and uh, convert you mentally rather than just through an impulse where if it's something like super simple, like an attorney or a surfboard rental, there might not be much to sell uh, as far as that goes. But when we're talking about an anti-aging product, you might want to uh, have a little bit more details and background uh, behind exactly why the person might want to uh, choose your particular product instead of any other product. So therefore, you would want a, a more advertorial or more, uh, a, more of a long-form type landing page. This one here, uh, attorneys, if, if, if you are looking to generate leads of any kind to get people to call you, then you obviously have to have a phone number on your website. So the phone number there, as well as the free case review button. Surfboard rentals, reserve now. Poor placement, in my opinion. I didn't even really see that until uh, I had looked at the page for about 10 seconds. And we have the tour guide. They would like you to book a tour, but you um, have to come into these, you know, one of these individual activities in order to do so. Phone number is up here. And yeah, I guess it's, I don't even know how you would book actually. Renting a car, obviously front and center here's their call to action find a car and the uh, tattoo company click here to book your appointment click here for a free consultation I don't necessarily know what the difference is between booking an appointment or booking a free consultation but the recommendation that I have is that you can only have one call to action on your landing page if you if you're asking the user to do multiple things then the likelihood of them doing either one of those uh, decreases significantly so pick one and stick with it um, okay so that is a very very basic uh, explanation of what a landing page is, kind of the fundamentals about what each landing page should have, and um, that I, I intentionally kept it extremely basic because this is the first video about landing pages that I have created. And so if you're sitting there thinking, man, that video was really kind of uh, beginner, then you're right, it was. And you better buck up and get ready for some more advanced videos because I am saving those for a future date. Uh, if you would like help um, or like my opinion on your landing page, uh, then you can go ahead and look in the description of this video. I've placed a link in all of the videos that I am making that will enable you to schedule a call with me live one-on-one -on -one via zoom video conference and uh the primary intention of that video is to review or of that that call is to review your google ads account um but for this particular video since we're talking about landing pages then we'll make it a combo review your google ads account as well as your landing pages and, and provide some uh, advice and maybe even help hook you up with somebody uh who is able to create really good landing pages for you because personally I don't make landing pages. I make my own, that's all. Um, but I, I don't make landing pages for other people. I strictly consult and optimize Google Ads accounts um, and everything within the account itself. But uh, outside of the account, such as the, the sales funnel, the conversion funnel, uh, through from the landing page to the thank you page. Um, oh, we didn't even talk about that. Uh, what happens after somebody clicks on the landing or what happens after somebody converts, uh, fills out the form or, or buys the product, whatever it may be, 
they will land on a thank you page. And the thank you page is the final page that just confirms that the action was, uh, was complete. And so, um, if, if you, yeah, that, that's it. Okay. I'm starting to ramble and I'm trying to make this video. I'm trying to make the videos a little bit shorter because they're, uh, exceeding 20 minutes and 20 minutes is kind of long, especially for basic videos, but I think you guys need it. Well, some of you, most of you, if you're advanced, then I have advanced things at some point in the future. Not today though. So I hope you have a great day, a great existence, and I hope you enjoy consciousness. And until next time, bye-bye.